What's going on, my friends? Back again. We are at Muscles and Mojo at the Murphy Auto Museum. Our museum up in Oxnard. Check out the cool Magnuson Corvette. Really good turnout, and we're only about a half an hour in. We already have some excitement going on. But uh, I wanted to show you guys some of the cars that have arrived. Good turnout. Um, yeah, it doesn't get much better than this. Let's uh, show you guys some of the stuff. Check out the classic 356. This thing is sweet. Uh, this guy absolutely loves his car, man. It is gorgeous. Wow, look at that. That's sweet. So I think it was some ridiculous, like, I don't know if it was like 2,500. Two hours, hours, What's up, Brad? We're at Muscles and Mojo today. There's Joe Danley saw classic Camaro. Look at that glossy hood, man. Just want to have breakfast tacos on that. The cars are still coming in. Beautiful T-Bird. Not sure what year that is. Hot rods. Hey, uh, please don't touch the cars, man. Oh, hey. Live. All right, man. <laughs> Yeah. David Neal, tell us about your car. All right, we got a 63 Studebaker Wagoneer. This car came from the factory with a sliding roof. My assistant Maxwell is demonstrating it as we speak. And so how this, uh, how this works is the roof slides. That was a factory standard for this car. And it's the only car made that way until the GMC Envoy came out in the early 2000s claiming to be the first one. But it was Suter Baker who innovated it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, imagine if the new Mercedes wagons had this. Wouldn't that be cool? Yes, it would. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it would. Max, it's Max approved, so of course it's going to be fine. <laughs> Very nice. And here's another Studebaker right here. Yeah, we're full of Studebakers. This is either a 50 or a 51 Champion four-door. Very Look at cool that. car. Yeah, that's a cow catcher on the front there. <laughs> This car might uh, might be visiting the museum? This car is working its way to having a permanent home here. Okay. And that'd be very, very nice because uh, other than this car, which is, which is mine, mm -hmm. we don't have any Studebakers at the museum right now. I, I don't think a museum is officially a museum without a Studebaker. Not, not a car, not a museum that showcases yeah. American okay. cars. You yeah. have to have a Studi. Well, I don't know. Did you grow up driving Delahays or Bugattis like the, on the Mullen? Let me think. My yeah. dad and mother both fed at the public trough. They were school teachers. So yeah. No, we didn't, yeah, we had I didn't limits. either. Yeah. We had Plymouth and Fords. Yeah, so uh, Studebaker fits. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Thank you, David. Uh, director of the uh, of the Murphy Auto Museum, the Studebaker. This is what it's like to sit inside. Hey, man, the keys are in it. I'll take it. Check out this uh, crazy ass, uh, I don't even know what you call this thing, but um, I've seen Hot Wheels do many cars like this, but wow, insane. Cool fuel tank. The door's open. Let's go inside. Look at these orange seats. This is so Divco. Cool. Wow. That's awesome. Yep. That is awesome. That was just a steering problem. That was very easy. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk about this beautiful... Tell me, tell me your name. We're doing a live on Facebook. Tell me your name and what this thing is. My name is David Littig. This is a 1961 DIVCO, which stands for Detroit Industrial Vehicle Company. Learn something new every day. It uh, went out of business in 68. Yep. But anyway, it's the old milk truck. Did you think in 1968 that you'd be driving this beast? Uh, no. 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 Yeah. Funny well, how I, life you works. Know, before this one, I had seen him in photos, and uh, when I was a little kid, they delivered milk in my, and actually, yeah. foremost, which was this Dude, truck. It's a full-size Hot Wheels. That's what yeah, there it is. you go. Yeah. There I'm going to be go. talking to these guys, because <laughs> it, be it belongs in the Hot Wheels lineup. <laughs> there you go. Is, is there such a thing? Uh, there is. What, what motor did you put in it? the 350. I went for old school. MC Ken Vela. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing here in Oxnard, California? That's where you are, right here, right now, checking out these cool vehicles. That, that's an amazing. I, I still want ice cream. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> so what are we doing here today? Well, uh, I, I, there's nothing much I can say more than, than what you just said because you got the voice. Uh, but if you need an MC for a show, you got the man right here. But we're having a spectacular time. It's yes. barely even 8.30 and the place is packed. 
with amazing stuff, amazing metal. And every so, time we do this, it's getting bigger and bigger. Absolutely. So we have to come here even sooner, yeah. and we've got plenty of parking. Um, no, bring we don't. It. no, we don't. <laughs> On the street, yes. get here early. Yes. Get here early. We just do drive-bys. We just do circles. Yeah, all yeah. The way we're gonna have a cruise constant. around the Murphy. That's a good idea. <laughs> Thank you, man. Nice classic here. Beautiful. Poor bear. Look at that. Wow. Mid-engine. Yeah, that's a little scary. Wow. Wow. But this thing goes. Uh, I'd say so. You know it's fast if it's got sparkles in it, right? Mid-engine Corvair. You know what? You got to be a freak to get in that car. I can't wait. I can't wait. Is that your car? Dude, come here. Tell me about this insane Corvair. What's your it's name? Conrad. My name's Conrad. Conrad. And uh, uh, why? Why would anyone consider you... Yeah, well, putting mid uh, a mid-engine Corvair like that. Because uh, back in the late 60s, there was a, a race car driver named Ted Trevor mm -hmm. who made a kit for this car. Jeez. He only made like a, th a thousand of these kits and maybe 400 sold. And I bought his car. Wow, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. Wow. and then I modified it, cleaned it all up, yeah. and it came with a 1970 LT1 in it. So a couple of specs. What's the car weigh? About 25, 25. 25. Okay, and yeah. what's so what's the horsepower? Uh, well, the LT1 back then was what 350? No, 410. 4, 410. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Power weight's pretty good. <laughs> I, I bet you're having a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. First time. Yeah. People should come out. It's a great time. Yeah. So he lives in San Diego, and he drove it, and you were here in about what 12 minutes? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, man. Cheers, buddy. All right. Take care. Very, very cool. You know, when they say it's unsafe at any speed. Yeah, well, that was the early model. This is a late God. model. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I love it. I love it. Here's something that's hammered down to the ground. Look at this. Woo! Sparkly top. Wow. That's sparkly. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's uh, classic Ventura County right there. Yep. No. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yep. It almost didn't fit. Yeah, it almost, it didn't, almost fit. didn't fit. <laughs> wow. That's great. Really nice. We have uh, we, we have Kyle here. You know, um, Kyle. I was just talking to Kyle. Uh, uh, Young son. Of, Young son. Uh, right there. Uh, but Kyle told me that his test was so fast it blew his hair off. <laughs> it's happened a couple times. Like father, <laughs> like son. My <laughs> Woody did the same. <laughs> Meet Matt and Matt right here. Matt and Matt, we're hey, going hey. live. Just so you know, anything you say is being recorded right now. So have at it. We wouldn't have it any other way. Okay. All right. Matt uh, brought his uh, G4 Luso. Yeah, yeah, GTC4 Luso T on We're, the corner. Around the corner. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go. With a surfboard in it. With, with a surfboard. surfboard I'll, I'll know yeah. for sure. It's a longboard. Yes. Well, thank you guys You're for welcome. coming today and nice to supporting the show. We would like uh, we got to breakfast uh, tacos over there. a few cars for you if, if we can do that this Talk morning. to David. Okay, where We need Ferraris driven. We'll go find him. Thank All right. you. All right. Here we go. Amazing people. Great people coming to the show. Uh, we got a lot of interesting stuff around the corner here. We still got a little bit of room. It's still a little bit early. Look at that DeSoto. Is that yours? No, I wish. California paint right there. It stays with you. Isn't that awesome? Wagons are allowed to park wonky, aren't they? If you got a wagon and you bring it to this show, you can park however you like. That's a mother trying to tear her apart. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that country sedan. Very cool. Oh. But I heard there's something around the corner in the back here, other than some of the homeless people over in the corner. Yeah. Been... I think there's something around the back here. I'm going to see if someone's by that van. I think we're around the uh, other side. So, you know, normally, um, pre-COVID, this was all filled, but we're making our way back. We got our new sign up on the wall up there. Looks pretty snazzy. But uh, it's kind of a the calm area of the storm and we're we're still filling up 
but we got some cars on the side here. If you guys have not been to the museum, we're now officially open. So you can come check out the cars, our diecast collection, and the, uh, uh, as well as the HO scale cars. Oh, it's a Ferrari. That's the Lusso with the surfboard in it. Mm-hmm. Yep, sure is a surfboard in there. Beautiful. Very nice. Not something you normally see at Muscles and Mojo, although uh, quite a bit of Mojo in that car. Here's a 68 Chevy. SS here. Classic Bentley. Look at that. Do you believe that guy fits in that car? I, I can't believe he does. Yeah, I can't crap. believe... We're live. Anything you say is being recorded, so have at it. Start dancing. If you're a big guy, I recommend a Volkswagen. Listen to this guy. Because you can fit in this. And you can build this in your front yard. I built this in a storage unit. Spray wow. painted it myself. Yeah, a six by six. And look how it came out. It's fantastic. Actually, it was a 21 by. Well, see, a real man drives a Volkswagen, right? Yeah, yeah. that's what we say. That's what it say. That says it all right there. My daily driver, I do drive a Oh, we got a little bit of uh, busness going on here. Look at that. Very nice. The Tiki bus. Holy cow. You know, when I was a kid, we'd go to camp, and they would pick me up. And I, would, I wanted to be picked up first when I went to camp so I could sit shotgun. Because there's nothing like sitting in the front of a bus. Yeah. Oh, it's got the sunroof. Look at that. Incredible. Oh, here's a pooch. Here's a poochie. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey, Sadie. Sadie, look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Hi, Sadie. Hi, Sadie. Sit, Sadie. Sit. She's not going to listen to me. Sit down. Sit. Look. Meow like a cat. Meow. Sound effects. So look at the size of this beast. So this thing rolled in a little bit ago. It's rather massive. Uh, and he had to back up to fit in a certain spot. And as he was backing up, this little thing right here, unfortunately, backed up into this classic Mustang over here. Not the red one, but this white one right here. And we got our first uh, Muscles and Mojo uh, fender bender. Ended up right there. Yeah. So, uh, not too happy about that. But uh, we do have tacos here, and that kind of helps. Uh, and then we got this side. Here's um, what I'm driving today. This is the 2021 Volkswagen Arteon. I apologize for the stupid Volkswagen name. It's a great car, though. Great car, but it's just kind of a weird name. Arteon? That doesn't make any sense. But it's right next to a great 63 Vet. Here's Rick's White, Rick White's Woody. This is Woody that blew his hair off right next to the Tesla. Also does a job on your noggin. Marine Magnuson's yellow Corvette. Bob and Peggy Beck's classic Woody. Look at that. That's sweet. Steve Geldman's uh, blue Porsche. Yep. Very nice. He's happy about this. And then, of course, we got... The gentlemen, we're doing hey. live on Facebook. Hello. How are you? And making incredible tacos. Thank you guys for no, being no here. Worries. No worries. Uh, I we have, not have a picture. Well, don't take a picture of this one yet. Don't take a picture of that one. Okay, they're going to do a special taco just for us, for you guys. This is Fifth Element Catering. A little bit of fresh arugula right there. Yeah. So what's in? He's got egg and bacon and uh, what else? Eggs, bacon, cheese, yeah. uh, pico de gallo, and arugula. So if you don't want a donut, then you uh, get to have the real stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No sugar. If you don't want the sugar, <laughs> you get the taco. That's a caterer's joke. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Nicely done. Kusha, can anyone go online and find you guys Fifth Element Catering yet? Uh, no, not yet, but we do have a big business card in the front. You guys can, okay. can take down the there number. We go. This is my second time uh, hosting at the um, catering at the uh, Murphy Museum. The first time was last year's, right before the pandemic, and this is my first time this year catering at the uh, Murphy's Museum again. And uh, you'll be back because it's I will definitely fantastic. be back. Thank you guys so much. much. Appreciate it. Look at this AMX. You know, I don't know. I'm kind of 
concerned about this car not having enough horsepower. But um, what do you guys think? You, get, you think it has enough horsepower? In this I think car? it does. Yeah. 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 I don't know, yeah. I think yeah. it can burn the tires off. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like saying, you know, that uh, uh, you know the L.A. Dodgers are playing perfectly all the time. You know, they can always improve a little bit, right? Oh, yeah. Always improve a little bit. So we can always make something more. Yeah, out of we can extract a little bit more out of that. <laughs> okay, that's a little scary. And then, of course, uh, we got Stuart Wilson's amazing Lincoln here. Look at that classic Lincoln. If you guys have not met Stuart, I'm going to introduce you because this is the man. Stuart, right here, this is Stuart Wilson. He is uh, Bruce Willis's uh, stunt double on all of his movies. Uh, he is always traveling, always going places. He's leaving for Puerto Rico tomorrow, and then he's going to Hawaii after that to shoot Bruce Willis stuff. And, um, uh, you know, all the commercials and the movies that you see where Bruce is uh, jumping through things? Well, he's not. My man Stu is. Stuart, come and talk to me for a second. Can I steal this guy from you guys? Give me one second. Yes. We are boogieing with Stu. Uh, boogieing. Tell me, what's it like to be a, a professional stuntman? Um, is it painful? Yes. Yeah. It can be painful. And I looked at my bank account, and it's, it's, it's not as big as the guy I double, a which as is a weird. <laughs> Very strange. But as I've been told, fall down, pick up check. Fall down, pick up check. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. And you're leaving soon to go where? Uh, I'm going to Puerto Rico on Friday. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to play around Puerto Rico on a film and then come home for a couple days, uh, maybe wash my underwear, and then uh, go to Maui. Yeah, if you need any help, don't call me. Yeah, no, nobody yeah. needs that at all. Uh, so uh, can you tell us what you're doing in Puerto Rico? You allowed to do that? I have no idea what I'm doing. I didn't read the script. <laughs> right. Yeah. I should probably do that. Yeah. Yeah. It might yeah. be a good idea. As probably long as fall you... down, pick up yeah. check. But again. don't you read through this like cliff notes, like you know, okay, uh, uh, jump out of a building, you know, on fire, all this kind of. You, you stuff. have to know how to read. Yeah. That's the first thing. So I, I, I'll get you know a small child to read it for me because you know there's big words. I'll help in the you script. with that. Yeah. There's, there's big words in scripts. It's weird. <laughs> like Fabian, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I'll figure it out. I'll read the script this week and figure yeah. out what I'm doing. Yeah. Sometimes you don't want to know what you're doing. Yeah. Well, in most cases, when you're in a in a you know a, a business, you don't want to screw up. But no. you get paid to screw up. I get paid, yes, to yeah. screw up. Yeah, that's the that's yes. the job. All yes. Right. Or to well, look like I screwed up. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you, man. Right, Love we'll you. Hey, you. Thanks for coming. Sure. All right. Uh, that's what we go, got going on today at Muscles and Mojo. Uh, I'll sign off with uh, Tim McDougal. Uh, maybe I'll go say hi to Kathy first. Here's, uh, here's Timbo. Oh my gosh. Hey, everyone. What's Tim, going on? Tim is hanging out next to the mid-engine Cor uh, Corvair. Can you believe this Insane. Thing? I just Insane. talked to the dude, and there's something wrong with the guy. I love him. There's something very wrong with the Our guy. Our kind of person. Our kind Our of guy. Kind of person. That's right. That's Thank right. Thank you, Fireball. Okay. Thank you. Sell some more houses. If you need a house, you talk to this guy, Tim McDougal. All right. Let's go say hi to Kathy and my sister, and then I'll let you guys go about your day. We got some more stuff coming in. Beautiful. That's actually one of our cars at the museum here. I've taken you into the museum no, before, but <laughs> let's say hi to the ladies. Oops. Hi. What's up, guys? Hi. We are live on Facebook. This is my sister Jordana. You guys have met her before. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a cool mask you got going on there. Yeah. So, uh, what's new and exciting? Nothing. We're just having fun. Just, yeah, they're just talking. They come to Muscles and Mojo and they chatterbox for the whole time. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. All right. We had tacos, though. They were great, weren't they? Hi, Dawn. She's got her official shirt on. Oh, yes, Yeah, with her tag and the whole nine yards. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a spectacular day. It's up to you. Make some good quality choices with your thoughts, your words, and your actions, and good things happen. Love you all. Talk to you soon.